My childhood, I was born in Detroit, Michigan. My mom, she raised us good. So I had three sisters and I was the only boy. I made straight A's, I'm a student all the way to high school. You know, I mean, I had a good childhood. And she was an old country girl and, um, you know, stayed in the country. She told me her, her dad wrestled hogs. You know, I'm an old city boy. I was like, you know, you joking, but I found out it was true. Bought a house in Henderson on the hill, you know, two and a half acres, beautiful spread, you know, doing real good, had cars, the whole nine yards. I mean, we had a good relationship. I suffer from bipolar, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, and alcoholism. I take a drink, I can't stop. Uh, I didn't know how to deal with his alcohol, but I saw him killing himself because <clears throat> his liver was about gone. Well, she was always worried about uh, me killing myself. You know, uh, I mean, she, she didn't know how to, uh, she didn't know how to help me. She didn't know what I was going through. I loved him, but it hurt me seeing him kill himself. 20 people I drank with is dead. Dead because of alcohol or drugs or mental illness. It took a divorce to get him to recognize he needed help. I come home one day, she say, it's over with, you know, I can't take no more. I ain't gonna watch you kill yourself. So she divorced me and, uh, His life had been a roller coaster. Uh, addiction and mental illness, uh, there are lots of highs and lows that come along with that. And he was really in disarray, you know, just kind of depressed and, uh, you know, had the weight of the world on his back, withdrawn from life, uh, very broken. When I came across him, he was at the hospital. He lost his self-esteem. He lost his sense of self-worth. He didn't know where he was going to go after he left the hospital. He was afraid of having to go back to a shelter. I was I was ready to commit suicide, and and and, and you know, because I gave up. You know, he was at a critical point when I came across him that he could either take a step forward and walk towards hope, or. I don't know what would have happened to him if, if he hadn't taken a step of faith. She made a difference in my life because uh, she, she showed me she cared and, and gave me a shot of hope, and I didn't believe it. I never knew nothing was like that. And when you don't have a permanent place to lay your head every night, to store your medication, uh, to keep your phone, to do your laundry, uh, to bathe, to prepare your meals, just the most simple things that we take for granted. If they're not there, then it's hard for people to get better in other areas of their life. I moved in there, and man, that was a relief. Housing, I could afford, peaceful, the scenery. You know, that be able to have peace and serenity and have dignity about myself. He's just has made a good change. Now this is the kind of husband that I I I can work with. I'm not fighting with me no more. You know, you know, I I'm all right with me today with who I am and I got a shot of hope. Wellspring saved my life.